Hello everyone, and thank you very much for clicking on this video today. Your feature presentation will begin in a moment, and I hope you can sit back, watch, and enjoy the show. Thank you very much. Hello everybody, uh, Starving the Dark here, also known as Sean Bolin in real life, and um, welcome to this video here. Uh, what we're going to be doing today is that I recently, just barely hit, Master Rank 25, and I'm very proud to have hit the top Master Rank that is currently possible by players in Warframe, and I figured that it was now time to start giving back to the community. And with the help of one of my Alliance members named Bound2020, um, I'm going to begin doing that by starting this little video series which will help you with different grinds and different issues that new players often face in Warframe. Um, today in particular is going to be fo focusing on how to best um, obtain massive amounts of Austrian standing or Cetus standing so that you can rank up and get Zaw parts. Because, just to show you, I have got to do this as well. If we go into equipment here, and we go into progress, you'll see that I have almost every we melee weapon in this game, and that the only melee weapons left, thank you Ortis, are all the Zaw parts. So I definitely need a bunch of standing so I can buy all the different parts to make all these different Zaws, and there's Zaw strikes. And that is going to be the focus of today's video, is how I best do that so that it makes it easier for everyone. Okay. Okay, so first step, you go over here to your navigation, and for those of you who are new players and don't know, uh, you want to go to Earth, and on Earth you have Cetus, and Cetus is where you're going to want to head, because um, that is where um, everything that you need to start this um, acquisition of Austrian standing XP lies. So, click on Cetus and enter the mission. Alrighty, and we just barely arrived here in Cetus, um, and we, as you can see it is currently nighttime. The very first thing you guys need to do is head over to Konzo. Um, as you saw there, I went into the escape menu, I hit fast travel and I went to Konzo, he's this old gentleman here. Uh, please ignore this infestation, there's an event going on, something special, don't worry about it. Um, and basically what he is, is he is the gentleman who helps you first gain Austrian standing, which you're going to need a little bit of standing in order to begin this process. Uh, let's see, this is all the event stuff that doesn't really matter. But, and here's what's going to happen, he has a random selection of bounties for you. Each one, as you can see, has a different level of Austrian standing XP. Um, given to you that you can get. As you can see, as the enemies get harder and harder to fight, you get more Austrian standing. But I'm going to let you know right now that, honestly, these bounties are not worth it for the standing. They are just too slow, they take too long, and they're just a pain in the butt. The method I'm going to be teaching you today is actually much faster, but it requires a bit of standing to get started. So basically, you um, pick any of these bounties you want and complete each of um, complete them once, so complete one bounty. can be any of these levels, heck, could be capture the leader here, and you will get enough standing. You need 1,000 standing to begin the process. So if you already have that, you're already past this step, and don't worry about it. Alrighty, y'all, welcome back. I'm assuming at this point that you've gained 1,000 Cetus standing, and that you are ready to progress to the next part of this process. So, what you need to do is hit Escape again. We're going to be entering the Fast Travel menu on the top, and we're going to be going the Fisher Hay Look. Now this particular individual is the person who handles all of the fishing and related um, standing that you can gain from fishing, so this pr she's going to be the one you're going to be talking to 90% of the time to for this process. So, we click on Fisher, hey look and go here, and as you can see she has three different options. Um, the first option and the one that we're going to pay attention to in this section is going to be the browse wares. Um, today's special is something that I've never used and you can if you're desperately low on a particular material, you can buy it for platinum. However, as you'll learn, it is much easier to farm literally all these things she offers with just a little bit of experience and a little bit of effort into the fishing system. So, let's enter the browseware section. And what we're going to be looking for is your very first fishing spear. And this spear is going to be the only fishing spear you'll ever need if you follow the tips and tricks in this video. Um, so here we go. Uh, what you want to grab is the Lonzo Fishing Spear. This is a piece of gear, and as you can see, it's 500 seed of standing, and you only have to ever buy one of them, because it, um, you only have to, ever have to buy one of these spears, because it is permanently reusable, you can use it all the time. So, pick up your Lonzo Fishing Spear, and then with the other 500 um, standing that you will, you will have, please come over here and buy the Luminos Die Times 10 Blueprint. This is a reusable blueprint, so you only ever have to buy it once, same as your spear. And as you can see, it is fairly simple to make this. Um, it requires a couple credits, a couple ferrite, literally just a couple, 
which you will have access to, and it requires iridite, which is a um, a special material that's located on the plains of Edelon, which I'll flash to in just a second to show you what it looks like. But either way, pick up both of those blueprints. For now, don't worry about the luminous die. And you're ready for the next step. So here we go. Three, two, one, and we're going to transition. Hello everybody, welcome back. As you can see, I'm now out on the plains of Edelon, and what we're going to be showing you today is some iridite. This is what it looks like for anyone who is not familiar. This is the stuff that you're going to need to make the luminous die, and it's very useful for a bunch of other recipes. All you have to do is find these iridite formations, which as you can see, there's a little loot indicator on my mini-map with animals instinct, and simply hit it with your sword or shoot it, and there you go. You will always get between one to three iridite, which can be increased with the either a resource booster drop or a um, Smedekavat buff. And just to show you, there's an iridite down there, so literally these things are not hard to find across the plains of Edelon. And you're going to need ten to make your luminous die, but don't worry about that just yet, let me show you what we're going to be doing. Okay, and thanks for that quick little cutaway. Um, there we go, now that you are familiar with iridite, and that's the first of the resources you just need to keep an eye on, let's actually get to the part where we fish. And as you can see, I have just barely um, entered the plains of Edelon from the gates of Cetus. And we're going to take you to the first fishing spot, and this fishing spot you're going to become very familiar with. Um, in order to get unlock the ability to get the blueprint we need to farm the one fish that is going to be the majority of our standing, and all of our standing, um, we're going to actually have to farm a different fish for a while just to get enough standing to level up. With the Ostrons 2, I believe it's um, either, I think it's tier 2 when you become a visitor. When you become a visitor, you unlock access to the particular bait we need, and until then, we're going to be farming this one fish. So, here we go. Um, exit the gates of Cetus, and we're going to be going to the left here. And as you can see, along the way when you're fishing, you're going to also find more iridite. So make sure to just shoot that, grab it. And we're actually already at our first fishing spot. It is directly f to the left. Um, very first thing you want to do is kill these Grenier that are kind of in the center here, because otherwise they will shoot at you, and that's just annoying. Also, it is nighttime, so Edelon Vombolus will be out. And there we go. Now, thank you, Geyser. We're going to be headed over here. These rocks in particular are where we are going to be farming and fishing for Mortis Lungfish. These are a probably the easiest fish to fish for in this game because they are very large and they have this gigantic white armor plate on the top of their head, which is generally where you want to be aiming for. Which also makes this white plate also makes them very visible at night. And let me tell you that the reason nighttime is important for this kind of fishing is that mortis lungfish are the only species of fish that spawns in this pond, this geyser pond, at night. So you are have a 100% chance if you catch a fish here to catch a mortis lungfish, and that is good. I should have shown you guys this earlier, but what you can do is you can go into the arsenal back in Cetus and equip your spear, your lawns of fishing spear, to the gear wheel. So do that, and as you can see, we can select it. And now we are ready to begin fishing. You can still melee as normal to take care of any enemies that may approach, but you probably won't have to do that. But just a tip for those of you who may not know. Okay, so now we want to search for fish. And this happens by just looking around. Now that the fish is out, ooh, see, there we go. You will also see the little health bar, so you can also just scan over the waters and you'll usually come across one. And what you do is you hit right mouse button to aim. And you're going to use left mouse button to fire once you have a clear shot. Always advise aiming for the head and not missing like that. Now as you can see, this Mortis Lungfish is a little bit far out, so I want to aim just a little bit ahead of him. And there we go. And let me just show you this screen quickly. As you can see, we have caught a Mortis Lungfish, and it, it has the little M here, which stands for medium. Uh, mortis lungfish come in three sizes, small, medium, and large. And that doesn't really matter a whole lot right now, but trust me, it will down the line when we actually prepare to sacrifice them for standing and cut them up for bait and parts. So just keep in mind that that is what we're going to be doing later, but here we go. As you can see, here's another one. Probably looks like a medium given the size of it. And what you want to do as a new player is just rinse and repeat this. I would say uh, you can spend a whole night fishing, but ten minutes fishing ought to do it and just pick up as many fish as you can. Obviously, aim for the larger fish as they're worth more standing. I'm also then going to now show you Luminous Die, 
which as you can see in the bottom terrible directions here, right hand corner of the screen, with the, underneath the three there's the luminous die. And what you can do is you can cast this once you've made it back in your foundry on your ship, and it highlights all of the mortis lungfish for you, so it makes it super easy in daytime or nighttime to capture them. Here we go, a small one. And that's the basic parts of this, is that I would advise coming out here at nighttime. Uh, Mortis lungfish do spawn in this pond during the day, but a ton of other terrible fish that nobody cares about spawn as well. And that kind of just makes it really tough. So if you can, on a particular night, come out here and just fish for Mortis lungfish. Luminous dye helps a lot. Oh, beautiful. This is a large one, a huge fish. Fantastic. Okay, and I'll be right back with you guys. Um, once you've caught as many fish as you can handle, you, um, there is no inventory space, so you can just carry as many as you want. You want to head back to Cetus by going in this direction, and we will begin the next step. Alrighty, everyone. As you can see, I actually made it back to Fisher Haylook, which in Cetus, I have successfully gathered a ton of Moore's Longfish, and now it's time to figure out exactly how do we gain standing and gain resources for the Zaws and other stuff from fish. So, we checked out the Browseware section as before, but this time, we're going to be going down to Fishing Surfaces. And as you can see, we have a menu here. Now, I've already gathered some standing of the day off screen at a different time. But as you can see, I still have a fair amount of my daily standing left. Now, this varies depending on what Master Rank level you are, but it, I believe, is always 1,000 standing plus your Master Rank times 1,000. So basically, if you're Master Rank 5, it would you would have access to about 6,000 standing, which is quite a bit. So, what you need to do is head into Selected Fish here, and select your fish. Now, um, the, please ignore these, these are other fish I had from different fishing ventures. Um, as you can see, we have some Mortis Lungfish. We have a couple large, a couple medium, and a couple small. And I'm going to show you how this works. Now, what you can do, and this is probably very helpful for you guys, is to go onto the Warframe Wiki, and check out the fishing um, page. It is unbelievably useful for showing you which fish to turn in the standing, which fish not to, and the different rates. Um, I'm just going to state for you, each of these small mortis lungfish that you provide is worth 100 cetus standing. Each of the medium mortis lungfish is worth 125 cetus standing. Each of the large mortis lungfish is worth 200 cetus standing. So, um, I'm going to sh um, show you how you sell stuff for standing, so here we go. I'm just going to select all of these Mortis Lungfish. I would say that for everything, for Mortis Lungfish, since you catch so many small lungfish compared to their large and medium counterparts, you should always turn all of your large and medium Mortis Lungfish into standing, period. Just do it. Which we're going to do now. So you have two options now that have lit up. We can either cut bait or we can provide. As you can see, the provide has the little special standing icon, so we're going to actually gain 1,350 um, Austrian standing from these three large mortise lungfish and these six medium mortise lungfish. And if you happen to only have mortise lungfish and you want a ton of standing, you can also hit select all. Also, do not worry about math. If there is ever a time where you have more standing in fish to provide than you have standing left that you can get, It'll actually have a little pair of brackets over here that will tell you, okay, you cannot get that much standing, buddy. You're going to lose some. So don't worry about that. So hit provide. And three, two, one. Spare, it shows you the distribution of standing. The Look at that. We just gained 1,350 seat of standing. Now let's go back in here. And let me show you the other part of this process that's going to be rather important. I'm going to select five small of the Morris Longfish, and hit OK. And this time, we're going to go in the cutting bait. And as you can see, this is what happens with virtually every single fish. Um, every single fish that you cut up for bait will give you materials. And in this case, every fish will also give you some amount of fish meat and some amount of fish oil. These are very useful materials that a lot of the Zaz use, and Archwing boosters require these materials as well. So. Honestly, you're going to be wanting to cut up some small fish at various times, and I'll show you which fish to cut up later to get these materials. 
However, what is very important about these particular fish is the, ev um, the special resource. Every fish species of the 13, I believe, in this, partic uh, in this game, Warframe, are able to give a special resource unique to that species of fish. In Mortis um, Lungfish case, this is the Mortis Horn. Um, this is where we get into a little bit of interesting stuff. Um, it does not matter the size of the fish. Each fish will only give you one of this particular resource. Because we select its five small Mortis Lungfish, we get five Mortis Horns. If we were to put in five large mortis lungfish, we would get five mortis horns as well. For this reason, because mortis lungfish are worth um, larger mortis lungfish are worth twice as much standing as their smaller counterparts, and since you get so many more smaller mortis lungfish, I would turn every single large and medium mortis lungfish into standing, especially because you don't have any to start off with, and you need to build up some standing so we can get to the real fish that you're going to be wanting to farm the rest of your standing with. So, um, as you can see, we can now get five mortis horns, fish meat, fish oil, and fish scales, which we can hit OK. They cut them up, and now you'll find in your inventory and in your components, you have some fish oil, some fish scales, and so on and so forth. Alrighty, everybody, welcome back. Um, you've actually basically finished the first part video in the series. Um, this whole first video was dedicated to getting you started on the path to building up Austrian XP, and the main way you're going to be doing that is farming mortis lungfish. I wanted to show you something here in Austrian Standing, which is that you're going to be starting off as a neutral, which is actually the rank zero down here, and you're going to be working your way up to Visitor. This is going to be key. You're basically going to be farming only Mortis Lungfish, um, and you're going to have to go. You're going to have to make the sacrifice for Offworlder, which is Nissel Pods, which you can look up on the wiki how to find those, and Iridite, which you of course will be naturally collecting as you fish. Um, Offworld is very easy, that's like 2,500 standing, which is literally like a couple of Mortis Lungfish, and then Visitor Beyond is like, I think it's 22,000 standing to rank up in the Visitor. Now, I did find out by looking on the wiki that the Visitor rank up does require Pyrol, so you, um, and a couple other metals, so you will have to do a bit of mining with the default laser, which you can find with Old Man Sumbat. Let me just show him here quickly. Yeah, I'm just going to show you this directly in, in real time. Um, you're going to have to buy the basic Nozam cutter, and you're going to have to go out farming with it, and there's other videos on YouTube currently that show that. Um, only do get as many resources as you need to rank up to Visitor with the Ostron, because after that, you're going to be fishing, and you're, you're going to get the... Let's see, where did you hide? Advanced Nozam cutter which is a lot, and I mean a gigantic change and improvement over the basic cutter. Don't even bother with the focus on Nozam cutter, it is not worth it. And I won the, um, and so that's basically it. Uh, one last quick thing. When you hit the rank of visitor with the Austrian, you of course unlock a free reward. Of the rewards that are available for the hitting the rank of visitor, there is one called Merc Ray Bait. And I'm actually going to type that into squad chat here. Merc Ray Bait. It is a Merc Ray Bait times 20 reusable blueprint. Please, if you are going to be using this method, please get that. That is going to be instrumental in the next part, or phase two of this Austrian Standing um, farm. So please buy that. And thank you all very much for watching. I also do apologize just for the kind of last um, slapdash way this video was put together in my talking. I am not familiar with YouTubing very much at all. And I thank you very much for making it to the end of this video. I'll see you in phase two, which should, um, the video should be up in a couple days. And at that point, I'm going to show you how to farm Merc Rays and everything that goes into that. Alrighty, talk to you all later, and peace out. Best of luck.